Now, I don't know the order these go out in, um, but I've recently reviewed this camera back here, so you may have already seen this, but the, and this may give away some of the answer, but I recently had some people on Instagram going, why are you still shooting film? Why are you still shooting film in 2022 as a commercial photographer? And I want to address that in, in two ways. One, why I am, and two, why other people are. Because in the fashion industry particularly, a lot of people are still shooting um, medium format Mamiya RZs, Portra, and Ektar film. Um, and, and that is for an aesthetic which you cannot achieve with a preset. You cannot achieve with anything else. Or, that's not true. You can achieve it with a preset, but it, it's not the same. It just isn't the same. It doesn't have the same feel. It doesn't have the same look. It's it, like it's technically the same. It's not the same. And you can't replicate six by seven negatives is the point of this. You can get the colours the same. You can, you can replicate 35mm film. As far as I'm concerned, 35mm film in terms of a, a, a look is absolutely attainable on digital. Six six by seven, the big negatives, the, you know, the big commercial negatives, can't achieve that look on a 35mm digital camera. Um, yes, you could perhaps use a phase for a six by four five and make it look very similar, but not the same. But then once you're spending 20 grand on one of those, why, why not just by the Mamiya, I don't know. Anyway, so let's talk about this. First of all, why am I doing it? So I'm shooting on my Bronica's at the moment. Here we go, this is my Bronica. And the reason is, I'm a professional photographer. I shoot for a living. I shoot on a, a 5DSR and a phase, and we use a Cambo Actus, and it's all digital, it's all clinical, it's all perfect, it's all right. It's exactly what you'd expect from a commercial photographer. But I like photography as well. Like, it's, it's not, just a job for me. It is. It is my passion. It is what I do. It is what I think about. It is what I. It is what I am. Rather than just being my job as a professional photographer, I am as a person a photographer, and I love shooting film. I love the of it. The sort of that bit and the these bits. You don't get this on a digital camera. I like the. It's like a vintage car, isn't it? It's just. It's just nice. And it's, it's all these little bits that make it tactile and it's a connected process. And my God, do I sound like a pretentious artist person here. But that, that's what it is. That's why I shoot with it. I enjoy it. The image quality is not as good. It's a nightmare as a workflow. It's expensive. It's messy. But I love doing it. It is what I do. When I'm not working, this is what is in my bag. This lives in my Billingham, which comes everywhere with me. And I shoot this, I see a nice scene, I take a picture of it. I photograph cityscapes with this. Um, predominantly my project at the moment is photographing views from high-rise car parks. That project doesn't go anywhere. I don't publish it, I don't put it out there. Most of the images no one apart from me will ever see. They're images for me. That's why I shoot film as a commercial photographer. There is no way I'm getting this out on a job. However, I have got it out on a job. I have shot campaigns on film cameras. When I had my RB67, I shot two campaigns. Now I've shot a couple of, um, not commercial jobs, but like um, reportage jobs uh, for musicians and like bands on tour and film because there's one band who recorded with only analog equipment. I can't remember the name of the band. Everything was analog, so they had to have a photographer who could shoot analog. That was me. Um, there was a campaign I shot for Premier Drums with a particularly vintage looking band and the drum kit and everything. I shot it on 6x7 Portra. What was it? Ektar. Ektar. 6x7 Ektar. It scans better. Um, obviously they needed a digital file at the end of it. And anyway, that is why I shot commercially with those two things. But that was a rarity. That was like an anomaly. It was very rare that I did that. Um, hopefully I've managed to get those pictures to pop up during this. But why do fashion photographers still do it? Well, there's a few reasons, and one of it comes down to the fact that at the very high end of photography in the commercial world, we are artists. Um, and the tools that we choose to use often aren't logical. The most logical choice of a camera setup in today's like modern world is the Phase 1 XF with the 150 megapixel back. That is just common sense. That is like the ultimate workflow. But some of us don't like that. Some of us want to have different options. I, I like a bellows camera, personally. That's what I like to use. Some people like to use a 6x7. Some people like to use a 4x5. Now, they could get a great image with any camera. The, the medium isn't the thing. But it's the medium they enjoy shooting. And when you're getting to the point where you're pitching for a job against only three people the fact that you enjoy what you're doing matters because that will get you the better images. And yet the, the kit doesn't. There's no benefit to film. There's no benefit to digital. There's no benefit to either of them. 
they're just whatever you prefer and whatever gets the job done whatever you think yes this is how i want to work like for some people who say film slows me down i i know that shooting digital medium format slows me down i don't know why but i shoot more on i guess it's storage more than anything it's not the, <laughs> the fear of the cost of storage but it's the same with film. You don't want to shoot loads of films. You've got to develop it, scan it. That's time consuming and messy. It's not just like flicking through stuff and capture one. You've actually got to spend time there getting getting through it. And you've got to clean the negative. There's a whole world going into it. But if you enjoy using that camera, that is worth so much. When you enjoy using the equipment you're doing, when it is when you're at the, when you're at an elite level in anything, you've got to you've got to love the process. You really have. You've got to live for the process. And if part of that is the smell of film pulling out the roll of film, winding it on. That is great. That is exactly what you should do. But know this, no one cares. No one cares if you shoot on film. In the same way that no one cares if you shoot on digital, it doesn't matter. It is not a conversation. Saying I'm a film photographer as a professional has most of the time no merit whatsoever. What matters is what the photographs look like and how you get there is entirely up to you. If you want to use an RB67 fully mechanical like a Swiss clock of a camera, use it. Don't need to tell anybody about it. It's not important. It's not relevant. Use it though. If that's what gets you there, use it. If you want to use the latest mirrorless Canon camera with the latest lens, use it. If that's what does it for you, if that's what gets you going, use it. And again, no one cares. But it is so important to just go, well, do you know what? This is how I like to work and this is what I'm going to do. The top level pro photographers don't often use the latest and greatest kit. And that is not some weird like, oh, I want you. It's, they use what they like. They use whatever they want because they're great photographers, not because of the equipment, not because of the medium. It is just because they are great artists. And that is why they get paid obscene amounts of money for what they do. Not because of what they use, not the kit they use, the film they use. It's because of who they are and what they see. Anyway, I hope this has been of use. I hope it's answered some questions. If you want to see more about film photography on this channel, like developing, printing, shooting, all that stuff, let me know. Um, I've never really shared my film work before. I've obviously been doing it for a while. Um, I'm not as knowledgeable as I once was. I used to be able to like walk into the dark room and go, well, in this scene at this metering, I'm going to use this developer at this temperature to get this particular look for the print on the paper. I'm going to like most of that information is gone from my brain now because it's not my daily do. But I, I have a reasonable knowledge of film photography. So if you want to learn more about it, let me know. And I might start making a video once a month on film. Anyway, I hope this has helped explain a few things. I hope it's been interesting. Um, and also, I couldn't see any videos on film photography from the perspective of a commercial photographer. So I thought maybe that would be a, a slightly different perspective. Let me know in the comments below what you think about this all. Let me just, just let me know. I love reading your comments. See you all soon. Bye bye.